ICTs or Information and Communication Technologies are essential for the achievement of the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. An ambitious action plan for people, prosperity and the planet, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals aim to eradicate poverty and strengthen universal peace through collective partnerships, promoting economic growth, social inclusion and environmental sustainability. People everywhere can reap the benefits of connectivity. Let us empower individuals with these transformative technologies so that they can advocate and innovate for our common future. Digital financial services lift people out of poverty. Not everyone has a bank account, but many have mobile phones. As mobile digital technologies spread to even the poorest and most remote regions of the world, we have an opportunity to reach this underserved population and bring it into the global economy with expanded access to savings accounts, lines of credit, and other financial services. Banking the unbanked creates economic growth that is sustainable. It's now almost indispensable. In other words, using mobile phone or, or mobile facilities for financial services, I don't think we can go back. Uh, a lot of people now rely on this. To drive sustainable economic growth, efforts must have a wide global reach. Connectivity increases the productivity and competitiveness of small and medium-sized enterprises. Our efforts should focus on unleashing the smart use of broadband to empower our people in ways that will significantly improve their lives. ICTs can build a more inclusive society, driving social and economic progress for all. Sin duda, eh... Es, un, es el sistema nervioso de la nueva civilización. Es una palanca de desarrollo, de crecimiento, en todos los sentidos. Uh, I'm always amazed when I see the world in general, how many people are not connected to the digital ecosystems. And it is our duty, I think, to bring the opportunities of more people to get engaged. Giving women and girls access to ICTs has the potential to empower them in all aspects of their lives. The power of broadband and mobile technology must be harnessed to reach the unreached girls and women with quality learning opportunities. Technology must be available to female students, entrepreneurs and policy makers. ICTs can help transform the lives of women and their families and be catalytic for development. New technologies have the power to open up endless opportunities for those living with disability. My quality of life has changed dramatically since I started using technology and only the other day I told my mother that technology is the limb I never had. ICTs significantly improve quality healthcare for people in poor and remote areas. In Kenya, doctors in rural hospitals use telemedicine technology to get advice from specialists on how best to treat their patients. After an accident, you have a fracture and they don't know what, what type of fracture or what to do with the fracture. So after the X-ray, they scan it through the scanner, they send it to us, we consult, we give them an answer on what they should do. ICTs are part of the solution in ensuring the sustainable future of our planet. In a world where natural resources are scarce and always in demand, new technologies can help preserve ecosystems. Oceanographic radar monitors the health of oceans. GPS technology tracks deforestation and biodiversity loss. Mobile networks give farmers information about sustainable agricultural practices and how to reach new markets. If you want to export fruits or vegetables or resources out of countries, you need connectivity. The constant flow of people from the countryside to the city is putting pressure on the planet's already scarce resources. 
The transition to smart cities with their integrated ICT infrastructure will create better systems for delivering energy, water, waste and transport services. Smart cities will be safer for their citizens and more resilient to a changing climate. As the world faces more extreme weather events, ICTs can save lives. Mobile systems um, and, and technology are the instrument that we have to develop further now to save even more lives. We've got good evidence that it works, but we also have evidence that a lot of the disasters cost more and more in terms of lives lost and economic losses. ICTs and broadband can't solve all the world's problems, but they can accelerate solutions. Broadband alone is not going to solve those problems, but it can be a really, a really a substantial ticket to improving access to the information needed to solve those problems. ICT partnerships and platforms offer innovative models of collaboration for post-2015 sustainable development. I believe the challenge now is for the international community to come together and harness the huge potential that these technologies hold for economic growth and development. ICTs are the essential levers to transform the digital revolution into a development revolution and move the sustainable development goals from vision to action.